Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, if you're new, my name is Brenda. So today's video is going to be on a Paris Hilton eyeshadow palette that I received <laughs> for uh, Christmas a while ago. I did already do the fast paced tutorial uh, using the palette. This was my first time reviewing it and testing out the formulation and seeing how I personally like it. So this is what the palette looks like. This retails for $14, but when you go ahead and open it, the actual packaging does fall off, fall out. So you guys need to be careful with that. This has four matte shades and four shimmer shades. And then these two are highlights. So to start off with how I like it, I do like some of the colors, not all of them. These two in particular are really beautiful and easy to blend colors. This one does not show up at all. And the black is very patchy. And this one, I put it in my inner corner. You can barely even see it. These two, you can't see that well at all. You can't see that well at all. The highlights though are very beautiful. I do like them. They are very buttery and creamy. As you can see, I am wearing bold highlights. This is the purple one. And then this is the, the more champagne looking color one. And it's very beautiful. It looks like it's giving me a wet look on the face. These are very easy. Uh, only the two that I like. Like I said, they're very easy to go ahead and build up. And... They're very easy to blend, so you won't have a hard uh, time blending the formula onto your eyelids. The only really negative thing I have to say is it, it's $14 and I personally don't see myself reaching for it unless it's for really the highlight. I have the highlight in, on my eyelid and the other colors, like I said, they're good but they're not the best quality in my opinion they are a little bit powdery but if you don't have an issue with that and if you're on a budget it's an okay palette but i definitely think wet and wild is a better way for you the black eyeshadow in this is really bad it's patchy i tried adding it at the corner right here the camera is making it look way better than it really is. It looks very patchy and not that well pigmented. For 14 bucks, it's not that great of a palette. The only, like I said, the only, I only like four shades in here, including the highlights. But other than that, I really would not recommend this palette. And I was shocked that Paris Hilton was, had even a line of makeup because I didn't know that until I received it for Christmas. Even though the highlights are very pretty and I'll probably reach out for them, uh, it's not something I would recommend you guys to spend $14 on. Uh, for the quality of two eyeshadows and then the highlights, it's good, but it's not good enough for my personal taste because I am someone that is very, very picky with my formula and how I like it to show. It might look very beautiful, which I mean, this is and the eye is, but once you really look at it in person, it's very glittery and it's not something that I know a lot of people want, even, even though it does look very beautiful under all these lights. I just personally only give this one daisy head. Yeah, one daisy? Yeah, one daisy head. Jesus. Yeah, I don't think I've ever given a product a one daisy head, but for $14, you better perform better than than this. I mean, White and Wild has way more uh, variety, and their formula is great. If you're just getting for the highlights, I would recommend like spending your money on a higher value uh, highlight palette. Like White and Wild has very pretty and similar colors to these, and they're only like four bucks each so that's eight dollars and then if you get a eyeshadow that's five bucks like adding up to almost the price of this so yeah guys that's my review i only give it one daisy head i don't recommend buying paris hilton i'm sorry to say that you guys can definitely do better but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoy the small quick tutorial and you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys do give this video a big thumbs up subscribe and share so our community keeps on growing and as always guys have a great day bye <laughs>